Jim Willie, long awaited gold breakout. The desperation is obvious, palpable, incredible, fascinating, and unmistakable. History is being made as the last ditch is overrun. The game is finally on and in the climax chapter to the end game by Jim Willie, the Golden Jackass. For the last year or more, not an elephant, not a gorilla, but a dragon has been found at the dinner table. Its breath has just made everybody at the table totally bald with some scorched red faces. Now all are looking at each other, wondering who will first mention the bald guys at the table. Shanghai levers are finally functioning starting with the gold fix and continuing with the R&B based gold futures contract which delivers gold medal oddly. The game is finally on as in the climax chapter to the end game. Paper gold is totally disconnected from fundamentals. The paper charade is as impressive as it is corrupt. Its enemy is physical gold and related demand. Silk Road nations have strong gold demand which will disrupt the entire geopolitical balance of power extending from trade and non-US dollar platforms. The West has the corner on toilet paper used in the gold market. The United States has the corner on the US dollar used in fraud and illicit tolls. Paper gold fraud. Paper gold is a term used to describe the actively traded futures contracts which determine the gold price. Owning paper instruments is not the same as owning physical gold bullion since corruption defrauds the investor and interrupts the claim most investors largely unaware have disconnected the paper markets COMEX in the United States and LBMA in England are from reality. The entire concept of contractual paper price discovery has been corrupted beyond all recognition. The activity in the last couple of years has raised great alarm due to the rapid pace of divergence between paper gold prices and the tangible world fundamentals within the gold arena. The claims of paper contracts per ounce versus actual gold has run to almost 300 to 1 in recent months. It was considered outrageous two years ago when at only 25 to 1 or 40 to 1 in ratio. Imagine the lunacy of even 5 to 6 people claiming ownership to your car or house or better yet your summer cottage by the lake. The dominance of paper gold pricing mechanisms has resulted in profound shortages in supply as well as horrendous conditions for mining firms. They've been forced to shut down marginal mines since not profitable on a rare few among mining firms like Majestic Silver has undertaken to deny supply to the COMEX and call a partial strike against the criminal COMEX organization. Absolutely no equilibrium exists in the gold market as demand outstrips supply, which quickly vanishes. The shortages have made history in recent months and years. Paper gold on COMEX and LBMA is a crime scene. It is toilet paper with gilded surfaces, better described as elaborate corrupt contracts with few gilded letters at the top. Trading gold futures, which are essentially, essentially delivery contracts, must entail some degree of abstract financialization. If someone is merely trading a gold contract in order to arbitrage, then it would be costly, time-consuming, and ultimately pointless to shift physical gold around. It is only the paper gold contracts that trade hands, not the physical metal on ramps. The banker cartel relies on this hardship of movement to create the corrupt scheme. People do not wish to carry 80 silver coins in their pocket or a kilogram of gold in a suitcase, so instead they use certificates which become instantly corrupted. The necessary evil has grown far beyond its intended proportions, a practice refined that led mainly by the big banks. 
currently the number of contracts on the COMEX represents 300 times as much paper gold as there is physical metal in the COMEX vaults. Moreover, this number has ballooned at a faster pace over the past two years or so. The 300 to 1 ratio of contracts to physical ounces is propped by powerful restrictions. The COMEX forbids delivery of gold on the ramps to satisfy a gold contract under threat of banning the party from participating in entry in the door. Almost nobody takes tactical delivery of their metal except for the big Wall Street banks which steal gold from other depositors. These banks also routine, routinely rig the windows to enable removal of investor gold in the GLD exchange traded fund and silver from the, sil from the similar SLV fund. Imagine a gold futures contract with no delivery possible. How absurd. But it has been the reality since June of 2012. The situation is perhaps more frightening at more frightening in the London Bullion Market Association LBMA. This market sees trillions worth of gold trades every day. The acti activity is truly baffling. On individual trading days, more gold changes hands within contract trading, paper shuffling, across the London market than all the available gold in the world, yet no metal moves anywhere in a grand charade. These are merely paper transactions with almost no actual metal ever in movement. The staggering leverage and dilution should not make any sense to the rational observer. However, in sharp contrast, the eastern nations are accumulating gold in large volume. Gold and silver price reversals. The gold reaction to the Shanghai market development has been muted. But a powerful reversal is in progress, which should be impossible to halt or to obstruct. An unusual pattern shows itself in an upward bias, cup and handle, towards a reversal, where the $1,300 level is well defended. The signals are many. On the positive side, the reversal pattern is powerful and unmistakable. The upward tilt is unusual and potent as a very bullish signal indeed. An explosive, violent rise could occur soon. It might not be noticed well by some analysts. The moving average crossover for the 20-week moving average above the 50-week moving average is a very reliable signal confirmed by the stochastic cyclical index. Gold is stodgy, but it will prevail and complete the upside breakout. The banker cabal will throw a lot of paper at it, but the paper will be burned and converted to metal by force. These are exciting times. The world is on the verge of witnessing the fall of the banker cabal and the removal of the king dollar as global reserve currency. The battle is as fierce as the dollar is toxic. See Gold Weekly Chart where the breakout seems imminent. The Daily Gold Chart shows a rather tepid response to the April 19th event, where Shanghai launched the gold fix and began the gold delivered futures contract priced in RMB terms. The battle is on to defend the $1280 to $1300 level. Pressure builds to break out above that level. It will happen soon, but impossible to tell when. It depends on how much more worthless contracts, paper, contract paper the banker cabal chooses to stuff in the COMEX toilets, how much more corruption they wish to be exposed for, how much more desperation they will display on a very well observed global stage. The Chinese, to be sure, are very angry at continued paper stuffing of the golden ballot boxes where votes are placed on the price discovery process. 
Notice the absent gold rally in the last several days of trading with no breakout evident in the daily chart. Silver leads the precious metals breakout in impressive fashion. The cup and handle pattern indicates an 18 target to be reached very quickly. Both following charts exhibit a constructed launching pad for an assault on the $20 level. Suspicion has arisen that China is acquiring silver in an industrial stockpile, possibly for monetary pur purposes. Also, a bigger controversy has emerged whereby J.P. Morgan might be hired might be the hired agent by China to secure vast amounts of silver bullion. The U.S. government appears to have reneged on yet another lease contract with the Middle Kingdom. The U.S. has confirmed once more itself to be an exceptionally corrupt nation. See the weekly chart for silver where the breakout is as clear as one's reflection off a shiny silver surface it is consolidating at the $17 price level. A different pattern is shown on the daily silver chart, one that rhymes with the breakout in the weekly silver chart. Notice the surge in volume to exit the range established since February. The target for the daily chart breakout is also indicated around the $18 level. This chart and the chart above resemble a launching pad of a different look where a tilted range no longer held the price movement. Beware the silver surge in impressive moves upwards. The silver price has surged over 10% in the last two or three weeks or so to over $17 per ounce where a consolidation occurs. The silver surfer is on the move, making his presence known. The Sprott Silver Fund will add $75 million to silver drainage. Gold fights the geopolitical banker battles, but silver rides through the gate on a swift white horse. Silver has surged in recent weeks. Its impressive move of nearly $0.80 cents on April 19th was duly noted, an echo from the Shanghai gongs. Silver easily surpassed the technical resistance at $16.20 an ounce. The next big test is resistance at $18 per ounce. The brief peaks in early 2015 will not stop the silver march upward. No significant activity was seen at either minor peak event or requirement for resistance to be exerted. The Silver Surfer is ready to capture the Earth's attention again. The supply and, and demand dynamics in the silver market remain conducive to higher prices in the coming months. Industrial and investment demand for silver is strong. Industrial demand for silver is expected to rise 3% in 2016, according to Capital Economics. Silver investment demand has risen by 400% from under 50 million ounces in 2006 to 200 million ounces in 2015. Investment demand remains robust with monetary role becoming clear. The stockpile function adds to supply pressures. An interesting event recently occurred. The Sprout Physical Silver Trust, PSLV, is an honest, strong player in the precious metals arena. Eric Sprott and John Emery are as honest and full of integrity as Wall Street executives are corrupt and lacking scruples. The Sprott Fund is a trust created to invest and hold nearly all its assets in physical silver bullion. Managed by Sprott Asset Management, they announced in the first week of April that it has priced to follow on offering 12.3 million transferable redeemable units of the trust called shares. The price is set but most important is the volume. The gross proceeds from the offering will be 74.91 million. The demand will come quickly, a substantial amount of silver to come out of an already very tight market. Investment demand 
will surely remain robust and probably increase due to ineffective QE policies, still ultra-loose monetary policies, negative interest rates, and ongoing federal deficits amongst most sovereign nations. The ruin of money is complete and entering the climax phase for demise of the U.S. dollar and its removal as global currency reserve. African-style monetary policy of the U.S. Federal Reserve since 2012 has rendered the U.S. dollar toxic and undermined the global reserves held by nations. Hyper-monetary inflation has severe consequences. The community of nations has reacted in a global revolt. Most people among the common masses cannot imagine a world without the U.S. dollar. They assume it as a constant. It is not. Only a small minority constructed construct non-U.S. dollar platforms like the BRICS Development Fund and the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, competitors to the IMF and World Bank, and the Chinese Interbank Payment System, alternative to SWIFT, and even the Eurasian Economic Union seeking to join with the European Union itself. Thus, the upcoming shock when the U.S. dollar is gone and shortages, shortages arise. Then later, the price inflation from the currency crisis. It is especially difficult to conceive the common masses of paradigm shift and great change when they do not know what the term global currency reserve means and do not know what swift bank transactions are. The former is the usage of U.S. Treasury bonds in core reserves within foreign banking systems. The latter is a method of transfer from bank to bank across the world. If the truth be told, the official Monetary policy is wrecking the global economy. QE with ZERP serve as a death warrant to the U.S. dollar etched in monetary policy. Assured mutual destruction is clear. The gold standard is visible, a solution avoided since 2008 but urgently called for now. Bear in mind the honest inflation adjustment which calls for the 1980 high to occur at $150 an ounce for silver, it remains realistic, especially given the increasing usage of silver in various industrial applications. Silver will be part of the new asset-backed global currency system. Next comes a global layman moment with bank failures and a threat to the entire Western banking system. Nothing, nothing has been fixed since 2008. No big bank liquidations have occurred. No currency reform has occurred. The banking reform has been a sham run by the big banks themselves. Banker power has been preserved. Next, the Western bank power will be lost. Behold an obscure but shocking statistic. Not easily observed since the crude oil price decline has dominated many headlines. The bank losses are next. Unavoidable over time, the queues loaded crude oil vessels grab headlines. A favorite bizarre broken data point is that in the full year 2015, over a half million containers were exported from U.S. shores like L.A., San Francisco, New York, New Jersey, that were empty. A new major U.S. export is stale air locked in containers loaded from U.S. ports and destined for Asia and emerging markets. U.S. export of fraudulent bonds, military weaponry, diabetes, and laced vaccines now has another item on the sickening list. The system is truly broken. broken. Climax of a dumped paper in the gold market. The Wall Street and London Center banker criminals dumped $2 billion of paper gold into futures markets on April 21st. 
they jumped one and a half billion of paper silver in the futures markets. They only buy a little time while losing more face, the entire world observes the corruption in real time. A powerful Chinese response to final day suppression is coming as Shanghai will deliver a message soon. It will be given in their time frame, not ours. The desperation is obvious, palpable, incredible, fascinating, and unmistakable. History is being made as the last ditch is overrun. The banker cabal wishes to defend an indefensible $1,300 gold price and defend an indefensible $18 silver price. They will fail, but not before throwing billions of unbacked, unsupported counterfeit contract paper at the market. The Chinese will flush the paper like so much toilet paper in sudden thrusts of the lever down the Comex toilet using their gilded Shanghai lever, the publicity grows on their corruption like with admissions by Deutsche Bank, the lawsuits are piling up. The Wall Street and London Center hives risk a powerful response by China at their newly forfeited Shanghai helm. Or, I'm sorry, their newly fortified Shanghai helm. Expect very soon a strong message given to the West, too much gold, and they want it priced properly for global usage, even a banking role, a currency role as well. The Chinese are the leading producer and consumer of gold. They demand proper pricing for an import asset, soon to become a widely used banking reserve asset. Expect very soon for China to test the metal of the corrupt Western stewards of paper gold and paper silver by lifting the gold price by something like $100 and lifting the silver price by something like $2 in a single overnight alarm gong. The Chinese are motivated to deliver a message of wrested control to slam the table, marking the new management for precious metals markets. It is coming. It will happen soon. The Chinese are patient, but their patience is almost run out. New Scheiss dollar and gold trade standard. In time, expect an eventual refusal by Eastern producing nations to accept U.S. Treasury bills in payment for trade. The IMF reversal decision assures this U.S. Treasury bill blockade in time and might accelerate the timetable. The U.S. The United States government cannot continue on five glaring fronts of gross negligence and major violations. These violations have prompted the BRICS and Alliance nations to hasten their development of diverse non-U.S. dollar platforms toward the goal of displacing the U.S. dollar while at the same time taking steps toward the return of the gold standard. The violations are to import finished goods and crude commodities, paying with IOU coupons, to commit multi-trillion dollar bond fraud in its big banks done without legal prosecution, to do QE bond purchases in applied hyper-monetary inflation monetizing debt, to rig all major financial markets in favor of the primal U.S. dollar, to engage in numerous regional wars to support the U.S. dollar, the new Scheiss dollar will arrive in order to assure continued import supply to the U.S. economy. It will be given a 30% devaluation out of the gate, then many more devaluations.